it's another glorious sunshiny day yeah and I'm gonna be cutting the grass before it gets too long again unfortunately because we can't use the car and we don't have a trailer we can't skip all the grass I want to ask some guy I know who lives in this town if he got a trailer maybe he could do a driver too for me because we got that filled with grass and that filled with grass and we need to get away but I'm gonna cut the grass again now and I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter than I did last time because this is growing way too quick in no time and this minx coming outside Yes. I'm going to do a time-lapse video of me cutting the grass just for the fun of it. And I'm going to show you what stuff I'm going to use for it. Alright, so this is the basic stuff I'm going to use for my time-lapse. I'm going to use a tripod to have the camera on. And I'm going to use my phone, my iPhone, because it's got like a feature you can do that. First I'm going to put on my little phone tripod thingy here. This here was an old one I had. It's made for smaller phones, but I just heated up uh, that part there. and. Uh, then I made it fit for my iPhone. So yeah, I'm just gonna put you guys over here. And yeah, I'm just gonna make sure this is on nice and tight and doesn't move. Clear on there. Pop the phone in there. Like this. Then you're basically ready to do it. If you're gonna do a longer time lapse, like I am going to do now, because it's gonna take a while to cut the grass, I will suggest maybe having a power bank, which I have here, and connect that to it so you know the phone's not running out. And another very good tip is also if uh, you're not expecting any important calls or text messages from anyone, um, put it on airplane mode because you don't want suddenly a phone call to come in and ruin the whole video. So that will be quite irritating so right now my phone is charging via my power bank and uh, I can go in here and check out and find out a good view of me doing a garden I think something like this would be fine so yeah make sure you got a good sturdy tripod so your camera don't fall down because you don't want your phone to be ruined so I think that's about it Ooh, that's all the grass cut. I started off with picking it all up in the grass collector or the container, whatever it is, in the back of the lawnmower. But I have to, like, for each up there and back, I had to empty it, so I'm not even bothered. So I put on the bio cutter, which shoots the grass out to the side, and it looks, it's just not too nice, but it works. Tomorrow we're going out to look at a potential house that we eventually could rent. Uh, nothing is decided yet, we're only going to look at it and to have a word with the um, owner, um, the landlord, about how much the rent is and heating and all that because we want to know that before we eventually do move in and uh, yeah, my um, my uh, time lapse worked out really fine and I have more power now than I started so time lapses are fun but right now I want to sit down for a few minutes because I've been walking back and forth quite a, for a few times even someone who watched my videos recently said that I'm lazy. Um, so yeah, apparently I'm lazy. Who we'll give a shit? Nice afternoon with a freshly cut grass and nice bedding been washed. So it's going to be all nice and fresh when we get into sleep tonight. Uh, yeah, Nikki's computer has uh, been clean. Paul has sorted out. Um, just wiped everything off and installed it again um, because there was some problems with it. Paul sorted it out. Been the computer freak he is and uh, yeah I just had a game of Counter-Strike um, and we won the second one, this, the first one let's play with less and we lost. I don't know why, when I, when I play with people I know, I very often mostly lose. It's really irritating, um, it's like I'm not very good when people are talking, I need to be very quiet when I play and not too much noise in the background. That's also when people I play with on teams is they keep talking, I have to block them because I just can't do with all that noise, I need to concentrate. Um, so that is basically it. Um, we're going to take Sunny out shortly for a little walkies because she wants to go out for a wee. And I'm charging my power bank. See that? <laughs> well, we're going to take Sally out for a walk shortly. And I'm just going to close the door because I'm freezing cold. So, um. No, I won't because I went out cutting the grass and I wasn't warm there. Hey, Sally. It's warmer at bloody out than inside the house. See, I'm out here, I'm fine. Ah, oh, that's nice. Spring. Spring is coming. Sally is a mean. See, yeah, you've been, you've been barking at a cat. 
The neighbor's got a cat and sometimes goes in the garden and sadly she don't chase it very much but she barks at it and just runs lightly after it like get out of my garden i live here this is my garden look sally Ooh, you caught it sally's not very good at catching though uh, we're trying to treat her teach her to catch treats and tennis balls and stuff but um, she very often don't get them but you caught that one didn't you Ooh, now it's there she's gonna bark now she want to play her game where I roll the tennis ball to her. There you go. <laughs> Can't flick it down when I laugh. That Nepal earthquake's got nothing on your ass. <laughs> they say France, France, San Francisco's next. That's going to be about an eight or a nine. That's total destruction. Not a thing left standing. There's a film coming out next month about the San Andreas. They had one, haven't they? They had one before. 1906. And they've had one recently. Just a little shudder, a little tremor. It's enough to make cracks in the road. But the, the next one in San Francisco will be within the next 30 years, and it will be a big one. That's why Joe didn't want to move to San Francisco. Because of that? Because the earthquake. It's around the platonic layers. So it's a beautiful day out, guys. Sun is shining and feels nice. We're talking about this house tomorrow. Uh, we hope it'll be nice and we hope that we will be considered for it uh, when we go and see it if we like it. The, the guy who has it, has he said his house is like quite newly refurbished and nicely up done. Um, and there's two other people going to look at it tonight. It's both couples with kids. Oh, she's gone in the water. You should have looked after her. I was facing that way. She, she knows, she takes every bloody chance she can. <laughs> you little asshole, we didn't tell you not to go in the water. You were not allowed. You little jerk. Look at you, all wet. Butthole. But no, the uh, guy who has the house, having two people out to look at it tonight, but uh, he wasn't too sure he would let them have it. Because one couple got four kids, the other couple got five kids. And even though it's a big house, uh, he don't want it overruled with kids because you know how some families are not really, how careless they can be when it's only a rented property and not their own. Um, you see over and over, someone had a nice property and someone moved in and a couple of months later or a year or so they move out and then they trash the whole place. And that's what this guy certainly don't want to. Alrighty guys, for those of you who came, you probably do know what this is. Um, this is Camelback CSGO main menu and uh, yep there's my username over there Mr. Williams this is my photo um, this is my rank uh, yeah um, but I want to show you something uh, because I the other day won a chroma 2 case and I also well I got dropped a chroma 2 case from a game and I also got a chroma 1 and I want to show you my inventory so let's go into here I have quite a few things um, this is skins, basically all of them I have dropped. I think I only spent like five dollars myself on maybe a bit more, five, four or five dollars. Five, maybe six dollars on skins in here because I don't really get the big point of it. But now I'm like kind of obsessed with getting skins. Um, but I opened my chroma case. Uh, this was like a normal chroma case and I got this. Um, which is the Basilisk Stat Track. Um, M4AS, sorry, M4A1S. Um, it's a really cool um, machine gun. I really like it. Uh, automatic. And uh, yeah, it's basically just a look. And for those who don't know what this is, this is like a counter on how many kills you've made on it. I, I recently, I just got it, so I only got 36 kills on it. Um, so yeah, I won that. And I can also go in and see how much it's worth. Uh, I got the case for free. Um, so we can go in and see how much it's worth. I paid two, I think I paid two euros 29 for the Axel, um, the Axel key to open it. Um, but now, this here is 10 euros. You can see that it's been like to 11, but 
at the moment uh, the, the skin here is about 10 euros I would say 10 11 10 let's just say 10 euros so I get like or like basically like almost like seven and a half euro for free with this skin so this is cool um, but wait we don't stop there I also had another case a chrome 2 case and with that I got this one which is the Star Trek AK-47 Elite build which is like a chroma 2 case um, item and uh, I only killed six people with that because I sat with AK but um, this is kinda cool um, nice gun people like wow did you get one of these yeah I did um, by luck and I can go in and see how much that is worth by looking in here uh, again I paid only 2.29 uh, 2.29 cents for two. 2 euros and 29 cents to get the key to open it and I had the box for free and this here is like 13 almost 13 and a half euro so that is like over 10 euros I won there by that skin so I'm really really excited and stoked about that that's so cool take good care guys as always love you stay awesome and epic and I'm still waiting for a silly response for these people who won all the giveaway prizes there's, there's only like one or two guys who is contact contacting me and asking for the prize which is kind of like a bummer when I made this giveaway and Chrome was so nice to um, support it and give me some prizes for it. And I haven't still made my 21,000 subscriber giveaway and I'm like 300 and something now already over 21. You guys are insane. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. And sorry to listen to my boring personality, but my vlog is about my life. It's not about how fantastic things is and how f how like positive everything in life is it's about a real life here and um, stuff that goes on in my life and there's good stuff there's bad stuff and there's shitty stuff there is awesome stuff um mixed stuff <laughs> and a lot of people also want me to see more fingerboarding uh, i will try to make some fingerboard edits soon and hopefully if we move and i'll get a workshop i'll be back in the business of making fingerboards again so you guys can purchase fingerboards um uh so yeah maybe even i can uh, make, trade some skins for fingerboards <gasps> that'd be awesome wouldn't it all right i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow stay awesome and epic and look after yourself i love you guys as always peace out this is some reggae i love reggae sometimes um because it's nice so yeah uh the skate bar just closed all the kids just left um i haven't filmed any scoot today because i thought there was so much good going on